my best friend over there was just saying how she doesn't know how anyone has any time in their lives to watch my videos. Not just your videos, just loads of videos. But my videos are the best videos. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. What have we got here, guys? For those of you that are new, hello, I'm Lauren. And this here, on this channel, is known as hydration. Because we all need hydration in our lives. And I drink mine out of a vase, which is neither here nor there. I need this so much because I've been moving over the last four days and when I've been moving I haven't, let me rest my arm on it, I haven't been thinking about hydrating my body in the slightest, I've just been thinking about which box goes where. My camera battery died straight away so well done Lauren. Um, can we have an appreciation for how cute my nails are? This is the, in case anybody cares, oh it's over here, Ooh. the model zone in cocktail hour unfortunately it's not cocktail hour right now it's breakfast time um and today's video is going to be a simple easy what i eat in a day because the last five days i've been moving i've been eating convenience food i've been eating just basic bog standard can't be bothered to think just let me get some food inside my body food so this morning we're making porridge because it's getting cold it's getting chilly i'm in shorts Why am I in shorts? It's cold. I'm gonna get some layers on and I'm gonna eat some porridge, so. So here it is so far. I just have the simple porridge oats. I think these are from Aldi. No, they're, yeah, these are from Aldi. I mixed it with some cinnamon, some cashew milk and some water. And just stirring slowly. I'm making it for my best friend who's also here this morning, so. Um, hopefully she likes it the same consistency as me. I like my oats quite thick, so I'm gonna cook them for a fair bit longer. So here we have it, oatmeal. What is it? Why did I just say oatmeal? Porridge with mango and blueberries and banana. And I'm gonna put a tiny, yeah, this is all the washing up. That's real life. I'm gonna try and do this. Perfect. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Here we go, little taste test. Is it good? Yeah, it's crunchy. Crunchy? Like nutty. Oh, it's good to put cashew milk in it. Mm. No, but it's like, I've got a bite. It's got a bite to it. Mm. So it's about an hour later and I have a banana, even though I already had half a banana on my porridge, but I haven't had a banana in a while, so need to stock up and I got a coffee in the cute mug from Asda um that's actually all right you know it's Audi Audi coffee with Otelie barista milk on it and I still haven't even got a bra on so it's a great day is this too dark I mean, both are awful. Welcome to my new kitchen. Kitchen in a cupboard, kitchen in a cupboard. I actually fit in this one. I probably shouldn't do this. <laughs> oh. This is when I get stuck in it, isn't it? <coughs> Blogger found. Ta-da! Just imagine, Vlogger found. She recorded her own death. Oh my God, don't, that's awful. That's awful. Anyway, I'm just drying up now because I'm about to make lunch and this kitchen is so tiny. I need to wash up. Quality content. So, I am going to have two oafs. I'm gonna put them in there. Are they gonna stay? Yeah. Two oaths, some kale, and some smoked salmon. Oh, and a bit of toast. I also got these. I mean, I I got them for free the other day. 
on Olio. Olio is the no waste food site, so if anything's going off, people give things away. And I picked up these from, I think they were from Planet Organic actually. These probably would have been really expensive. And the bread I'm gonna use was free as well. It's a French style sourdough. I don't know what's different between English sourdough and French sourdough. If anyone knows, please let me know. Um, I think it may be more like a loaf. These are like chunky slices, hefty. Um, as I said, it was free on Olio the other day, so it is going a little bit stale but I don't mind about that. I'm gonna toast it up a storm and we'll be ready to go. So I just put a bit of butter, like a teaspoon. Well, <laughs> put a knob, let's say knob on this channel, knob of butter. I'm just shrinking that down a bit. So there we have this gorgeous meal. Really quick, really easy. And for those of you who care about my well-being, I actually didn't burn myself just then. <laughs> Somehow I managed to, I can feel it's a little bit singed, but which means I don't have to shave my fingers for today, so. Uh, why do I keep doing thumbs ups today? <laughs> oh, I didn't, I forgot the alfalfa sprouts. Ugh. <laughs> this is packed in. Oh my God. Well, if there isn't art, I don't know what is. This is the one, it's so good. And it feels so nice to actually eat flavors rather than just pizza. <laughs> so it's now 5.30, I've just got out of the shower, as you can see. I've been working for like the last three hours and my eye has been like twitching all day. You know, when you just feel like going goop, goop, goop. And I know that it means you're either tired or stressed. I think I'm stressed today because I've got lots of work on and just general things. Um, and also this video is due up in three hours and it still isn't edited, which is really great news for me. Um, <laughs> not my usual ugh, self today. I feel like I'm drained from the move. I'm still sorting everything out. Um, and you will definitely have a tour soon, soon, soon. Um, I And also I'm annoyed because I would normally eat more during the day, but because I don't have my normally like snacky bits. You know when you're settled and you have all your snacks around? By the way, sn snacks is my favorite word. Or snacky. I'm feeling a bit snacky. Hey, you feeling? You feeling a bit snacky? Favorite word. Anyway, I don't have any snacky snacks in the house at the moment, so therefore I haven't been eating them. So I was gonna have some mango, but I'm just about to do dinner because I'm gonna have an early dinner and then go to Ikea. Even though I shouldn't go to Ikea tonight because I haven't even finished decorating and I'm gonna have to go again, but Ikea's literally 10 minutes from my house, so it's fine. Anyway, I wanna have, I wanna come on now and say a little snippet <laughs> about Instagram and something that I've noticed that I wanted to talk about for ages, but I haven't done it because I just haven't done it. Um, well, because I haven't been making freaking videos, that's why. I get followed by, mm, it used to be more, it's not so many now. I, I get followed by a lot of people. And obviously when you see people follow you, it says the username started following you, which is great. But the thing that grinds my gears, that makes me upset, makes me sad, heart, breaks my heart, is the use of names that people use for themselves. Now, the majority are all right. The majority are like, Sally loves plants, 83, whatever. Good for you, Sally. That's great. But it's the ones that call, uh, that are like derogatory. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this now is I just want you to look, or ones that have like, Carol 83 SW, meaning Carol is on Slimming World. And ones that, or wait, or WW in the name. And I understand that people have their weight loss Instagrams and their normal Instagrams, but losing weight is not a different part of you, it's you. And you shouldn't, number one, you should get off those shitty programs anyway. But, let's just watch the subscribers go down again. 
Story of my life, I take her hope, I drive all night to keep her warm inside. Yeah, sorry, I just had to do that. Be, basically, without sounding like a bitch, I'm not meaning to sound like a bitch, I just am. I just, I'm a bitch, sorry. Watch the way you talk to yourself. I had someone follow me the other day that was like, Piggy gets fit, or something like that, and it, it just made me think, oh my god, this person has, like, I don't know whether Piggy is a nickname, or like, a, might be a positive. Piggy might be a positive name. But, you know, Piggy, to a lot of people, would just be like, <gasps> And like so, I see so many like like loses lard. I've seen like Louisa Louis loses lard, or, and like all these awful phrases. I mean, yes, I've got lose it like Lauren, which I'm going to keep because I'm going to talk about that in another video. But I I don't think that's. I don't, oh, am I being? Am I being? Am I being two faced here? I don't know. Um, but what I mean is that like, I see so many negative words. Like uh, and 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 just ones that make me go oh but I I just I just want to reach in and give that person a hug and be like change your freaking name so basically we talk to ourselves more than we talk to anyone just work out how you're uh, how you're referring to yourself and how you're how you're talking about yourself in your head and to others and online because it all plays a part and it will all it will break you down and it won't lift you up we need to be more positive about ourselves and shout out a uh, shout out victories and um and shout our wins and congratulate ourselves not only to ourselves but to others and to have like piggy loses piggy piggy something to do with the pig and if that was you i'm sorry just change your name so here is dinner two uh char grilled <laughs> vegan sausages that i had left over in the freezer this mash that i got for free the other day at, in olio uh, on olio uh, some kale because I loved it at lunchtime and some beans to make it a bit more interesting and yeah a bit depressing but that's what I've got in the cupboards so that concludes the what I ate in the day boring edition hope you enjoyed it goodbye peace out guys bye <laughs>